empathic consciousness always understand the karmic obligations, karmic lessons, how to liberate self. Uh, this is one of the most important lessons that uh, empathic uh, black sheep are uh, learning early on. Uh, maybe because they have an in inherent wisdom uh, from another lifetime, uh, so they are uh, much mature um, uh, knowledge and the depth they can uh, uh, dig in, uh, sort of like a big tree. Uh, it is a stationary for its survival. It never uh, chased anything. It always attracts everything uh, it needs to sustain life on the surface. Uh, the withstand or the elemental challenges and uh, all the little uh, problems they have to encounter, they understand, but they remain uh, studious, they remain uh, grounded, and uh, they know the depth uh, that they have uh, is going to carry them through life. Uh, so the empathic uh, black sheep mm, are finishing up some of the lessons uh, so that uh, they will be mature or ready enough to uh, face the challenges from the external world really. Uh, for example, these uh, current circumstances in our world, uh, they are not personal uh, for uh, individuals, they are mostly uh, all these um, administrative level challenges that uh, we are facing as a humanity, as a collective consciousness. Uh, it is there to um, find the best part of our humanity. Uh, at the same time, uh, it's uh, helping us to eliminate what is no longer necessary for us to move forward as a collective consciousness, uh, the human species. Um, how do we uh, narrow this down and uh, maybe have a discussion with the audience uh, the best way possible uh, because it is not making any sense to majority of people um, unless if you are willing to think a little bit deep, uh, deeper or uh, think differently. Uh, instead of uh, living a life in a, a bit rigid uh, manner. Uh, the ideas never change with the time or circumstances because we believe in something. Uh, so these are the challenging things that we're facing at this moment in life. So for basically uh, the very basic uh, manner that you can uh, help them understand uh, the karmic journey, because karma is a real thing. Uh, whatever we do in life, uh, there is a, a action, reaction, and there is a, um, lessons that we have to learn, sort of like a credit card. It doesn't matter how many banks you go to, the, you always have to pay back with the interests. Our energetic journey is not any different. It is actually exactly the same. Uh, same thing because we're all here in a borrowed time uh, we cannot uh, go through life uh, behaving in an ignorant manner terrorizing people terrorizing animals terrorizing um, anyone who cared uh, about uh, things and uh, destroying the environment uh, we cannot maintain this level of toxicity in our world um, so, um, staying grounded, connected to the divine source and disconnectedness or woke mentality uh, is the difference between um, what is wrong with our world and what is working well. Uh, so this is the kind of duality we're talking about and the easier way to understand dualistic life. But. Um, for example, uh, you have toxic family, you have uh, schoolyard bullies, uh, most of people, uh, they're, they're terrorizing these um, 
kind, gentle beings. Uh, because uh, one thing you have to understand, though, people who are um, uh, living life with the external uh, source, they don't have anything to create. They they have to take the energy from somebody else to survive. This is where the toxicity happen. Um, until you draw the, those boundaries, this is continue to suck up the energy. This is what is all about the family uh, family dinners. Uh, it's always end up in a. Uh, in a fight because they have a lot of wonderful things happening and uh, yet uh, um, some people have trouble uh, finishing uh, these wonderful dinners that everyone uh, put together and uh, without uh, uh, some sort of uh, fight because the energy has to balance always because uh, people who are, are not awakened, people who are not connected to the source people who are struggling to stay grounded, uh, they don't have anything uh, left in them to um, continue life the way they are because they lack the energy, they lack the collective consciousness, so they cannot identify with someone, so you have to get the attention uh, from somewhere else. Uh, this is the unfortunate uh, price we have to pay because uh, we're here in this uh, industrial system and uh, we're constantly looking external so it is like a carnival you can only have a carnival in your community for a very short time because it's not practical for people to have a, a, this fiasco every weekend so our external world is the same thing because there's uh, they don't have any substance to maintain so this is where the indigenous people come in you know they are sort of the um, ground keepers for the human consciousness while the external world they have these big salaries and the big titles uh, because they have to make it um, interesting and uh, try to get these people's attention the disconnected people um, sometimes they don't have awareness how deep they're digging themselves into this uh, fantasy world. Um, it is unfortunate. You don't want to um, hurt these people. You have to have compassion for them, but you get uh, lured into uh, manipulate the mass uh, by uh, having these uh, ground keepers so they maintain this level of deception and uh, they have uh, easier time promoting it because their bottom line is taken care of uh, by the big salaries and the titles because it is all superficial it is all external uh, it is like um, maybe clown world is probably a maybe little root word maybe it is a um, fantasy world so uh, there is no substance there this is why we run into all these problems in modern day um, because it is temptation is a big thing that we had to overcome just like our uh, toxic uh, low vibrational parts of ourself the temptation is a big thing so uh, so it is very easy to get uh, dig our heels into these kind of deceptive circumstances in our world um, but the where you are staying connected to the source and uh, you're staying grounded just like that big beautiful tree uh, it is a uh, stationary and never goes elsewhere to uh, look for things to survive it always attracts everything the birds and the bees and the uh, natural elements the water and everything it is provided to them by the ecosystem because um, we are never looking external, but we're looking internal for all the answers, all the knowledge, and everything that we need to survive in these challenging circumstances. So this is my basic understanding and uh, karmic journey. When, uh, when you understand that you have some lessons, your karmic journey, 
uh, you had to liberate yourself from this uh, entrapment. Um, you can see the uh, end of the tunnel. Um, there is a light uh, at the end of the tunnel, but but you can also have empathy for the the other side, uh, where people creating enormous level of um, karmic. Uh, karmic obligations for themselves so we want to encourage people to look within and get all these answers and um, uh, get in the right path of things because it's never too late and um, it's all about you have to forgive yourself uh, it's nothing nobody's uh, holding something over your head and you know um, uh, judging you but it is all about your higher self uh, you are accountable to yourself for example somebody who has got enormous level of resources and the power and authority they can really be depressed and uh, be saddened about life uh, because the guilt is a real thing uh, the, the uh, guilt and remorse and it is there but we never have enough wisdom to point that out but you know you go into substance abuse and all sorts of different things to cope uh, because we are divine creatures we are created by this divine uh, and maintaining that connection at all cost uh, it's got the uh, utmost uh, level of rewards in the end because we don't want to have a difficult life we want to sort of uh, enjoy and uh, experience this magical world